Yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Arichi Lang versus, or not Arichi Lang, Alatang Haley versus Kilaitzen Rodriguez. Now, to me, this is a pretty good fight on not a great card. Now, this is the card people can complain about and be like, oh, this isn't a great card. It's not great. I'm probably not going to watch. I'm always going to watch, but it's not a great card. This one, I will agree with. Now, is there a possibility that it ends up being a good card? Yeah, sure. Because you can have no-name fighters, not saying there's no-name fighters on here, and there'll be a, quite a bit of finishes. I'm like, well, that was fun. That was a fun night of fights. Um, anyways, sorry about that. Alatung Haley, 16-9-2, uh, <clears throat> fighting Gleitzen Rodriguez, who's 8-3. and three. Alatung Haley is 2-1. Or two, two, and one in his last five fights. He's a plus 150 underdog at 32 years old, 5'5 five, five with his 66 and a half inch reach. Fighting Gladeson Rodriguez, who's eight and three, like I said, three and two in his last five fights. One and two in his last three. <coughs> one, uh, lost his, uh, won his contender fight, lost his debut against CJ Vargaro, which a lot of people thought Rodriguez actually won that fight. Um, law, uh, beat. Shannon Ross, who everybody beats, finished him. Again, everyone finishes him. And then got submitted by Farid Basharat, which I do think the weight cut uh, was affecting him. I believe he was down a weight class. I think he's... Um, I'm pretty sure he fought... Pretty sure he missed weight pretty badly. Um, Let me see. I'm pretty sure he he, he missed weight. Uh, Rodriguez 134. Was it the fight before? I remember him missing weight and then moving down or moving up. I mean, that would make sense if he would do that. Let's see. Rodriguez 127. So he was fighting at 125. Yep. So he moved up because he was having troubles with the scale. So I believe that was his second time also missing weight. Maybe first. Either way, it doesn't really matter. He's a minus 185 favorite, 28 years old, 5'5", five five with a 67-inch reach, half-inch reach advantage for Gledson Rodriguez. Um, this is an interesting fight. It's going to be a uh, mostly a striking matchup. Even though Alatang Haley has been clinched a couple couple times in his in his losses, it's been a lot of that. You like what he fought Casey Kenny? He was just wrestled Casey Kenny. I don't know where the hell he's been. I, I don't understand it. But he's been gone. You know, he went to a draw with Gustavo 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 Lopez two years ago. Won two fights in a row against Kevin uh, Kroom and then Chad and and Hellinger, and then lost to Chris Gutierrez, who kind of closed the distance and just kept him against the cage and you know those things. Didn't really look that good. Neither guy really did. But Rodriguez, I believe, is going to be faster. Have that big, big power. But Alatang Haley, at this point in his career, at 32 years old, he's really good at using that distance. Unless, obviously, he's fighting like Chris Gutierrez. But typically, in his career, in his UFC career, he's been pretty good at fighting that distance. He's been pretty good at picking his shots. Uh, he only has one finish in the UFC. He's 4-2-1 and one in the UFC. You know, beat Ryan Benoit, beat Bat, uh, Batgirl Dana, uh, lost to Casey Kenny, like I said, but out-wrestled. Um, and then lost to uh, Chris Gutierrez. Not a bad loss, really. Um, and, and you know, Gleiton Rodriguez, you could attribute his loss, his last loss to uh, Farid, the weight issue, which I don't think he beats Farid Becherette at any point in his career. Um, but again, maybe it's more competitive and not as easy for Farid if he's not so drained and he missed weight, like I said. So there's something there. We've seen him perform pretty well against CJ Vergara, which I did think he won that fight. Destroyed Shannon Ross, which is basically, here you go, you know, just handed him a win because Shannon Ross is trash. But uh, yeah, Alan Tung Haley, I think, wins this fight. And if you're betting at plus 150, I'm not really for sure why he's the underdog in this matchup. We've seen Gladeson. I know he's fast. I know he has power. But Alan Tung Haley isn't a guy that's really, really uh, able to be hit that much. Um, let's check the UFC stats. And uh, let's talk about that real quick. All right, first fight, Rick Glitzen Rodriguez, Alaton Haley. So significant strikes strikes landing per minute, 2.88 to 5.48. Accuracy is 33 to 62. Absorbed is 5.03 to 2.75. 
Defense is 58 to 48. Takedown is 1.82 to 0.85. Accuracy is 40 to 25. Takedown defense is 72 to 63. Expect a couple takedowns for Clayton Rodriguez just to switch it up a little bit. But I like Alaton Haley being able to use that outside fighting ability of his. Uh, tends to fight a little bit longer at 12.58, 8 minutes and 49 seconds for Clayton Rodriguez. And I don't necessarily know how much you can use that fight time on him just because, you know, the one the one finish that he has, not great because it's Shannon Ross. And then uh, Farid finished him in the first round. So he has a first round finish. He's been finished in the first round. Has six finishes total in his career, but he only has one finish win in the UFC and one finish loss in the UFC. So, again, that fight time is a little skewered. Uh, Alatang Hey Lee, like I said, he's 4 2 and 1. Four fights, he has one finish. He's only lost by decision. He has eight finishes total in his career. Has been finished three times by punches in his career, but has not been like that in the UFC. I like uh, Alatang Hey Lee at plus 150. I really like those odds. I like him by KO or decision. As always, guys, subscribe, like, comment. Let me know who you're picking. We'll talk about it later. See you at the next one. Peace.